Welcome to lesson four. In this lesson, we want to do the camp part of our coffee table that we draw in, draw in uh, lesson 03. So, uh, therefore, we want to go back to our desktop and we start analyzing manufacturing from the desktop. First, we want to load our ANZ file that we created in lesson 03. So that's our coffee table here. We want to double check the job properties. It's the right job number, work order. That's all correct. We quickly rerun the geometry script again. So that's all good. And remember what we mentioned, if you want to send this to your beam so uh, you can export the cutting list uh, via file export. Select the right uh, export format, in this case we're sending it to Opti Planning. It's now created a CSV file in uh, Home WF that can be directly imported into Opti Planning. So the next thing we want to do is we want to run the default translator script. What that does is it exports all the necessary files for our CAM software. So we simply press this. What it's done is created the list for each material and thickness that's used on, on the project. And it's been sent to the home WMF directory as well. So that's all we need to do. Then we can go back to AutoCAD. Now first what we have to do, since the previous project we were doing it on a flatbed machine, we have to change our post processor. So we go to Optimizer Settings. That's still the flatbed machine specified here, so we have to select another machine. It's our port and rail machine. It's warning us that we have to use a new uh, drawing for this. So we start up a new drawing for that. You can already save it as lesson 04. Now we go into Panel Optimizer. We select Analyzer Parts. We navigate to our home WMF directory. Select the Job directory. It's all the way down here at uh, Work Order 141. Now here we've got our two materials. We want to do the oak veneer board. First, so here it's listed here in the current parts. We go back to optimization and we simply press optimize nest. So it's done our first part here, all the tool paths. So this again is a 3D, a 3D drawing here. So if you want, you can switch it, say, to X-ray, so you can see a little bit more what actually what the cutout's been done out of the, the plate here. This is your plate. These ones are the cuts and the dowels here. It also shows you the leading points. Then the next thing is we want to do our solid legs. We want to do them on a pond and rail machine as well. Here again, we're going to select Analyze Parts. We clear our top. We add our solid oak material. So here our four legs are listed there. Go back to optimization. Now we simply just press Optimize Nest. 
So now it's throwing us the four programs. So every time you start a new session, it actually gives you a space here and it uh, lists the new material on the right hand side going all the way to the top. You can adjust this in your settings here. So the space in the X and Y spacing, it's 200 millimeter. That's between the parts. And then the maximum count, if you have a lot of big parts, maybe you want to reduce this. So it does uh, 10, 10 programs in your Y direction. If you have small parts, you probably want to increase it. You may want to have 20 or so. In our case here, we only got four. So it would go up to 10, and then it would uh, create a new row here on that on your right hand side. Since we specified the assembly as a construction method of dowel, it has drilled us some dowel holes here in our into our legs, and as you can see, they are not they're not going all the way through. They're only 12 millimeter deep. The next step would be creating the CIX files for B-Solid. So for that, all we need to do is select post-process. We select the object. And we process it. The same thing for the legs. Now in our machining out folder, it's created two directories, one for the solid oak and one for the veneer board. And this is your uh, program for B solid. That's for your tabletop. And this ones are the four programs for your legs. Well, actually, because they're all the same, you only need to run one and you run, you practically would run the four legs in one program. Don't forget to save your file. I'd like you to submit this AutoCAD drawing file for lesson four, as well as one of the CIX files, possibly the one, the one with the veneer board. And that's all for lesson four.